It's the WNBA on 2K Sports. Welcome in, everybody. In this game, we'll see the Los Angeles Sparks against the Chicago Sky. And from near Southside Chicago, I'm Blake Suniga, joined by Brian Banifatemi and Tim Swartz, and we're ready for some hoops. Well, we might be in for a low-scoring game here with two defensive-minded teams facing off. Well, every basket is going to be hard fought in this one. So, yeah, maybe expect some low production on the offensive end. But that doesn't mean these players aren't working hard out there. Great defense demands your best offense. But it's one thing that's going to be really interesting to me. Who can maintain their intensity? Because playing terrific D can be exhausting. And she can't bank that one in. Outside, Carter. One up, one down. Two points with her first shot in this game. Not afraid to challenge the interior of that defense. Carter is fearless. On the wing, Kalia Copper. Pass to Misaman. Over Ogumake. Ogumake with the rebound. We don't see that too often. Plenty of space, and she whips on an open jumper. Over to the left wing. Here's Ball Queen. The basket good off the assist from Neko Gumake. Recognizing the defense's miscues and capitalizing on them, that's part of what makes a Gumake so special. Right there, she's able to find someone wide open. Now here's Quigley. Pass to Misaman. Over Ogumake, buried from 15 feet out. With a sound jumper, Misaman can consistently hit mid-range J's. Ball queen with the ball. And the Sparks, another three. Off to a nice start. They've hit all three from the field. Now Quigley, outside Williams. Pass to Quigley. And here is Misaman. Over Ogumake. Misaman, no good. Now about two minutes gone by in the first quarter. Here's Ball Queen. The three-pointer, no good. This offense is first miss. They've hit three of four to start. Now here's Copper. Now them off. Copper, outside quickly. Six on the shot clock. Doesn't go for her. Some solid defense by Shanae Ogumake. Oh, we talk about all-time WNBA playoff runs. You have to talk about the 2014 Chicago Sky. They were the last team in, winning a tiebreaker just to get into the tournament. Going all in, that was the 2K drive and it's well worth a second look. Are not satisfied with the lead that they have. Took it to the rack, not to be denied. Now here's Quigley. Here's Misaman. Chicago again missing. And talking about that 2014 Sky team, they went 15 and 19 in the regular season. But Chicago really turned it on in the playoffs, led by players like Sylvia Fowles, Elena Deladon, Courtney Vandersloot. Chicago won two winner-take-all games, getting all the way to the WNBA Finals. Now here's Williams. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Akumake. That is her first foul of the game. First team foul. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Pass to Copper. Screen by Misaman. Down to five on the shot clock. And the defense not making things easy for them. Yeah, they're having a hard time getting the ball in the basket, and they're falling behind now. Ball queen with the ball. She's picked up by Misaman. Two points. That one goes in. They're really struggling defensively. Too many easy buckets. I mean, what was the coach's game plan? Who knows? And that's a really an embarrassing performance defensively, and the coaching staff can't be happy. Time called here. The Sky decide to talk it over.
Chicago now. Trailing by 13. Pass to Misaman. Tries to snap the cold streak. And that's two points on the layup. A professor in physicality. Misaman will always give you her best effort. To the inside. Ball queen. Lays it up and banks it in. That's just great ball movement. And that's key this run. Passing it with a purpose. The D has not been able to keep up. Now here's Alamon. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Deep alley quickly. The shot will not fall. And it's the Sparks the other way. Outside Carter. Pass to Ball Queen. Releases. And the Sparks getting another bucket right there. That's the third bucket in a row from the paint. And I know nobody likes a traffic jam, but this defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Yeah, nobody likes a traffic jam. We can agree on that. They can't allow the offense to get those high quality looks inside. Her shooting numbers slipping this quarter. Pass to Carter. Now Ball Queen, guarded by Quigley. Here's Ball Queen. It's good as five others before it were. She's now shooting six for seven. Four of their last five makes came off a high quality shot inside. And that's right out of the textbook. They are having their way down low right now. Now here's Alamon. Copper outside. Shot clock at six. Williams defended by Ball Queen. Fades back. Chicago again missing. That's too good a look to pass up there, despite the result. The three is up, and the Sparks another three. Oh, they're off to an incredible start from long range. Yeah, lighting it up from outside. Hard to keep up with this. Pass to Copper. Misaman. Pick by Misaman. Copper outside. Their offense stone cold, another miss there. Well, on the court, we know how great Jasmine Thomas is, but off the court, her impact might be even bigger as she's a multiple time award winner of the WNBA Community Assist Award. Some tough offensive sets and they really want to turn it around. They got to lock in and need a basket just to regain some momentum. Timeout called the sky. Sparks on D. Outside quickly. Pass to Copper. And here's Williams. Clock at six. Outside Williams. No good from outside. From outside the arc. Another three for the Sparks. Three. Triples keep on falling, guys. Three in a row now. These defenders can't stay so soft on the perimeter. Misamon outside. Pass to Copper. Williams with it. Now Copper. And here is Misamon. She's covered by Ogumake. Outside Williams. Offensive board. And Williams gets it to go. One of her real strengths, Williams can collect her teammates' misses, turn them into points. Hey, I'm out, Don't give her space. out to the wing. Here's Ball Queen. Tries again. And there's the nice layup by Agumake. 
a tremendous first quarter shooting the basketball. Yeah, just uh, some really impressive scoring. Everything seems to be going in. Now here's Quigley. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Outside, Williams. Williams the screen. And it's Courtney Williams again missing. Inside. Out of bounds, it'll go to the sky. Substitution on the court. And so it's Chicago with it. Outside Mabry. It's hauled in by the Sparks. Pass to Hamby. It's good, and she makes her first shot of the game. Huge advantage for them already. Total control, and as well as they're playing at both ends, I'd look for this lead to get even bigger. Absolutely. Now here's Mabry. Beyond the arc. And no good. Smooth sailing for the Sparks. Just our first attempt. And the Sparks getting another bucket right there. Another pass put right into the shooter's pocket for a terrific assist. You know, they've done a lot of that today. And you know, it's something we haven't seen much at the opposite end of the court. Here's Misamon. The shot from the low post is good. Well, with good hands and the necessary athleticism to complete plays around the rim, Misamon is lethal. And the basket by Ball Queen. They are doing some damage from downtown, guys. Which is the main reason they're sitting on this huge early lead. What shooting? Just an aerial display from beyond the arc. Now here's Copper. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Misamon right side. Over Hamby. Misamon no good. And they're in complete control. Everything they're doing, it's been working out. Wow. Here's Ball Queen. The basket good off the assist from Neko Gumake. I love it keep shooting. As the threes keep dropping for her, she'll keep shooting, keep shooting. As she should. Look, when you're having the kind of day she's having for long range, why not just keep firing them? Now here's Misamon. Six points for her. Pick by Misamon. Williams. Shot clock at five. <laughs> Copper. And there's the call on Misamon. That is her first foul of the game. Substitution on the court. Well, you look at the all-time numbers, and the Sparks by far have the most wins out of any WNBA team. They have really set the precedent as the on-court standard of the league. And the basket by Ball Queen. They're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. You're right, three of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Back to Williams. Pass to Copper. Can they get it? Offensive rebound. The tough shots aren't going down for her right now, but the easy ones aren't either. So what do you do? Now here's Ball Queen. 33 points for her. Samuelson, she's covered by Copper. Here's Canada. For three. And the Sparks, another three. three well, they're getting their points now almost exclusively from three-point range for the last five makes from beyond the arc. And the defense practically giving them those shots. And they'll take it. And Williams gets it to go. It's easy to see Copper's phenomenal fundamentals. When she sees a wide-open shooter, she makes sure they get the ball. Now here's Ball Queen. She's guarded by Williams. Pass to Ball Queen. Here's Samuelson. Oh! She hits the buzzer beater! Oh! What a three at the horn. They end the quarter on a high note. I'll say, that'll give them a nice little lift to start the next quarter. Yeah, let's see how it works out for them. 
And the buzzer sounds to end the first, and we've got a blowout underway here. The Sparks on top, opening a huge gap. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. And we'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move into the second. And quite a position here for the Sparks to be in. What do you guys think? They've made the most of their fast break chances here in the early going. Yeah, tie your shoelaces because they can run and they've done a good job filling the lanes in transition. Here's Samuelson. And here's Hamby. That's her second shot and her second basket. My math says that. Still in the early stretch of the season here, but for these struggling teams, how quickly do they need to figure things out? The sooner, the better. I mean, it's only a 36-game season, so a slow start can really hurt you. But that's not to say all hope is lost. If it takes you just a few games to find your groove as a team, you have to keep working at it, and eventually you'll get on the right track. They're really battling, guys, not sitting back, attacking when they have the chance. And I like their approach, playing aggressively and forcing the officials to make a call. Pass to Ball Queen. Here's Stevens, Hebert defending. Ogumake with the ball. Right side, Carter. Yep, that goes. What body control from Carter there, showing the fearlessness when she goes at the defense and finishes. I'm on with it. Copper outside. Hebert. Over Stevens. Score the basket. Her second of two attempts. Talk about an instinctual interior scorer. Hebert operates at such a high level down low. Count that bucket. You can always depend on her to put that lead pass right on the money. Here's Quigley. Passed all them off. Now here is Hebert. To the paint. Here's Misamon. Misses the baby hook. They've shown some strength in the paint. Their work on the boards has been phenomenal. Yeah, and that's putting it mildly, guys. They've been absolutely dominant. Buries it from three-point range. Three. An accurate distributor. Thomas keeps her head on a swivel. And look, if you're open, she'll find you. They really want to find that igniter here. That's right, their offense is ground to a standstill. Maybe you need to suit up, Tim. They need a spark. Copper, she's covered by Ogumake. Here's Misamon, laid in with a nice touch off the glass. With such a confident and persistent offensive approach, Misamon is able to score in bunches. Now here's Ball Queen. She's got 36 points. Carter. Pass to Ball Queen. From seven, Misamon pulls it in. The 2021 finals were star studded. He had legends like Reiner, Parker, Tarazi, Dickens Smith, Vandersloot. But the finals MVP wasn't any of them. It was Kalea Copper. And these guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assist. When everybody's involved offensively, it's in a way helping you defensively too. And the basket by Ball Queen. In those finals with all of the future Hall of Famers, it was Kalia Copper that stole the show. It was the exclamation point on a breakout season for Copper. Named an All-Star for the first time in 2021 and capped the year off as the finals MVP. Now here's Copper. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. And Misamon gets it to go. Great quarter for her at the offensive end. Trying to wheel them back. Ball Queen with the ball. He's against Misamon. And she makes that one. She's having one of those days where if she takes it, she makes it. 
now Quigley. Passed Alama. Copper. Here's Misamon. No good from 11 feet. Smooth sailing for the Sparks. And here's Thomas. Down low. Here's Ball Queen. And she gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two free throws coming up. And that's going to be a foul on Chicago. And a first one falls for her. Kind of like the Lakers in the NBA, the Sparks are seen as the glamour franchise of the WNBA, and for good reason. I mean, first of all, come on, let's not lie. Who doesn't want to live in L.A.? And in terms of the Sparks, there are plenty of other reasons as to why they're seen as a destination. Well, yeah, I mean, in addition to the weather in L.A., just like the Lakers, count the rings. The Sparks have been one of the most successful teams in WNBA history. Just like me, nine times out of 10, she's gonna bury the three when she's left all alone like that. The quick look, no good that time. Chicago with the ball. Passed on them off. Over ball clean. Back to Copper for three. No good that time. Now the Sparks take it the other way. To the right side from deep. And the basket by Ball Queen. What vision from Carter, able to survey the court, find the open player. Now here's Alamon. She's guarded closely. Pass to Quigley. Here's Misamon. Will it go? Copper no good. Even with every shot clanging off the iron, she seems determined to continue hoisting up these threes. But I think it's time to maybe take a step in. Now here's Alamon. Misamon with it. To the middle. Heber, good. And the assist goes to Kalia Copper. She's coming to life after a slow start in the first quarter. Three seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. From past the arc, and the basket by Ball Queen. These defenders better start closing down their shooters. Yeah, that's too straight from long range. Now here's Alamon. She's covered by Thomas. To the inside. Hebert, shot is good. Fantastic pass. She made that a very easy bucket with the setup. One second left. That shot off. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. Sparks ahead, running away with it. And we'll see you right after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. Hello and welcome back. Third quarter just about to get going in what has been a runaway of a game so far. We're seeing a great performance by Ball Queen. And I wonder how long she can continue to shoot the three ball as well as she has up to this point. She's been quite simply lights out. Yeah, exactly. And this is something we both know that sometimes you have those nights where the bucket looks as wide as the Grand Canyon. And it, it really might be one of those nights for her. Well, it's been a one-sided affair through the first two quarters, but there is plenty of time to mount a comeback. Outside, Carter. Pass to Ball Queen. Now here is Agumake. She's covered by Copper. And here's Jasmine Thomas for three. The Jasmine basket good Thomas. off the assist from Neko Agumake. Three-pointers keep dropping. You 
sense the frustration mounting for these defenders, their coaches, their fans, everyone. Yeah, they just have not been able to take that shot away. And Misamon gets it to go. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. It doesn't matter how good their perimeter defense is if they keep allowing easy looks inside. Now here's Ball Queen. What an incredible scoring display she's put on tonight. On the wing, Kennedy Carter. Four on the shot clock. Ball Queen. Pass to Thomas. And the Sparks, Jasmine another Thomas. three. Three That's points. a dozen straight points coming off of threes. Yeah, they're having free reign from beyond the arc. The defense is, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it, non-existent. Now here's Aleman. On the wing, Kalia Copper. Williams makes it off the glass. She worked so hard on her post moves and finishing. Williams thrives close to the hoop. Pass to Ogumake. Over to the wing. Outside, Carter. Out to the wing. Here's Ball Queen. And the Sparks, another three. Last five makes, all five from long range. And the defense hasn't pressed up to deny it. They're hanging back, and they're getting picked apart. Pressure the ball, pressure something. Copper up top. Past Alama. Outside, Quigley. Shoots over Carter. Here's Williams. Count that one. You know, they've been extremely efficient and effective getting the ball inside. Totally. I mean, we're seeing some real shortcomings from this defense. They've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Oh, for the Chicago Sky in 2021, they went 16 and 16 in the regular season. Of course. That didn't mean much, it didn't mean anything, because they turned it on in the playoffs, capturing the WNBA title. Now here's Ball Queen. Ogumake, Misamun covering. And the Sparks, another three. It's just been a great start for this offense here in the second half. They're four for four right now. And that 2021 Sky team winning their first championship. Well, as Tim mentioned, Chicago went 500, and part of that was just how odd the 2021 regular season was, with the break for the games, pauses for the virus. Once the Sky were at full strength, they went eight and two in the playoffs, showing just how great they were. The second chance effort, and that's good. Off the glass that time. She's knocking down her shots today, but it unfortunately hasn't really translated to the scoreboard. To the left wing. Here's Ball Queen. That falls. Nice feed that time from Jasmine Thomas. Five straight now. Coming out of halftime, rolling. And so it's Chicago with it. Up top, Williams. And there's the defensive three-second call. Well, the 2021 WNBA Finals were a bit of a shocker. The Sky came in as underdogs against the Mercury, but nevertheless, Chicago won the series 3-1 with a pair of comfortable wins. So both teams making some changes here. Third quarter of basketball here, a little under three and a half minutes gone now. Three-pointer. The shot that time, not on target. Now the Sparks take it the other way. And man, what a special final series for the 2021 Chicago Sky. In a series of stars, Leah Copper stole the show, winning finals MVP. Courtney Vandersloot leads 10 assists in every game. And of course, Candace Parker with the storybook ending, winning it all with her hometown team. The first pro basketball title in Chicago since MJ and the Bulls back in 1998. Now here's Williams. Outside Mabry, six to shoot. Takes the three. Williams can't get it to go. She has slipped into a real funk here. Definitely, the basket is not looking very big to her at this point. Ball queen, she's guarded by Williams. Now here's Ball Queen. She's covered closely. Bambi outside. Clock is at three. 
and the Sparks, another three. Three-pointers are killing them, and they haven't been able to respond at the other end. But the way to turn that around is defensively, you know, by stopping their outside shot, not by getting into a shootout. Now here's Copper. Quiet so far offensively, searching for her first points of the game. Those chances, usually they're two points for her. The D, I guess, did just a, enough to bother her. Pass to Ball Queen. Brown. Out to the left wing. Here's Ball Queen. Another three for the Sparks. You couldn't have scripted a better start to the half for them. They've had every single shot since the break. And they've been struggling here offensively. Bit of a dry spell for sure. Oh man, there's really been a change in her game compared to what we saw in the first half because she's just scoring with a lot of confidence now. Pass to Williams. The basket good off the assist from Marina Mabry. Well, Mabry has a pretty sharp passing game. She won't let an open shot go to waste. Ball queen with the ball. She's guarded by Williams. Williams with the double team. Now here's Brown. And here's ball queen. Non-stop scoring machine here. Now here's Mabry. Here's Endor Fall. Ball queen with the rebound. Brown with it. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Shoots the three. Cans it from downtown. And add another three-pointer to their second half total. They came out of the break dropping bombs and are just not letting up. You love to see that. Now here's Copper. Pass to Williams. Back to Copper. Launches a three. The shot comes out. She keeps trying to force it up when she's guarded, and she's just getting brick after brick. Here's my suggestion. Move the ball around. Williams with the double team. Pass to Ball Queen. Back to Hamby. From beyond the arc, another three for the Sparks. Awesome to see zero hesitation from Hamby there. Gets the pass, gets the shot off, points on the board. Copper outside. And here's Williams. Down low. Here's Williams. Ball clean with the rebound. Here's Hamby. She's got 10. Pass to Ball Queen. Williams with the double team. Ball queen. She's guarded by Williams. Inside. It's stolen by Kalia Cooper. Outside Williams. There's a screen. Pulls it from 20. The Sparks grab the miss. She's just had a brutal outing. And she still hasn't managed to get a field goal, and the team is struggling because of it. Ball queen with the miss. Can't get a much better look than that. Yeah, no way you expect her to miss that shot. Shot to end the cold run. Oh. Indoor fall, can't hit. I thought that was gonna drop. It looked good from here. Looked good here too, I'm as shocked as you. Ball queen. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. What a feed by Brown, an off guard maybe by position and by trade. Her uh, passing abilities get better each year in the league. Now that is nice. Glad we got a chance to check out that sweet drive one more time. A little icing on the cake right there. Make me hungry. Anyways, putting on a show while they enjoy a big second half lead. Now here's Williams. Just five on the clock. Chicago again missing. 
Yeah, I mean, she has been way off the mark this quarter. It is getting rough. Pass to Ball Queen. That one goes in. They keep going to her, and guess what? She keeps coming through. She's leading this game in scoring. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, it's been a long time without a bucket. Focus. Here's Williams. Out of bounds, it'll be the Sparks ball. Point guard Jordan Canada spent her first four years in Seattle learning the one from the... So it's the Sparks taking care of business in this one. And this one was all over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about. They never got it. Yeah, I mean, they rolled this one. They made it look simple and efficient performance at both the offensive and defensive ends. And that'll wrap it up.